Welcome to the wonderful world of cliches. Oh, sorry. D did I say wonderful? I meant painful, disappointing, and soul-destroying. Silly me. I always get those two muddled up. Anyway, in this series, we're looking at the world's laziest and most overused ideas, and we're getting some experts to share their thoughts on these cliches with us. This episode is about those wonderful things called jigsaws. Oh crap, I made that mistake with the word wonderful again, didn't I? Anyway, here's our first expert. Jigsaws were first created in the mid-1700s. Artists would paint an image onto a wooden rectangle, which would then be cut into little tiny pieces that could be later reassembled for entertainment. Sounds fun. They became very fashionable for a while, but these days we've got television, Xboxes, smartphones, computers, and unless you're caught in a power cut, you're going to have better things to do than a jigsaw. Jigsaws never really took off in the digital world, and there's a very good reason for that. They're boring. You won't hear any arguments from me. My parents used to lie to me about how much fun these things were. Yeah, the jigsaw, it screams unhappy, rainy afternoons with kids. Don't give me the jigsaw. It's not a happy place. I remember if I was bored as a kid, my parents would dig out this million piece jigsaw puzzle. I remember spending days on this, almost getting to the end, and one of the pieces fell onto the floor and the dog ate it. But I determined to finish that puzzle. I, I waited a full 24 hours for it to get through the dog system. And no matter how much I tried to clean that piece, it never quite matched the rest of the sky. Speaking of sifting through unpleasant crap, that's what we're about to do just now, because here are some examples of the jigsaw in the wild. You might want to wash your eyes afterwards. I can't think of any business that couldn't use the jigsaw in its marketing. After all, everyone's in business to complete the other guy's operation. It's called supply chain. It's basic. So using the jigsaw in advertising is kind of like saying you discovered this cool thing called the wheel. Okay, I think this cliche should be illegal. The missing piece is clearly the imagination of everybody involved. I think you've hit the nail on the head lack of imagination. That's what leads to these overused chestnuts. And if advertisers can't be bothered going to any effort in what they're saying to you, why should you be bothered paying them any attention? Ruben, what's your take on this? The jigsaw. It's so crap and uninteresting that nobody else is keeping an eye on it apart from me. And I know for a fact it's a virus. It's spreading all over the internet. And one of these days, we're all going to wake up with it on every single page. We need to evacuate the planet right now and nuke the internet from orbit. Why are you looking at me like that? That is a perfectly reasonable suggestion. Uh, isn't that a bit extreme? Look, a quick browse on the web quite clearly shows. Good God, you're right. All right, before I get into my astronaut suit and step inside the escape pod, I've just got enough time to thank you for watching and to ask you, please kindly stop using these awful cliches. The next episode will be coming to you from orbit. I'm off. See ya. Oh. Oh. Light bulbs. Chalky light bulb. Nice. Oh no. Seriously, I need a bucket. I'm gonna be sick. This is. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest internet show about cliches, sub five minute category. Voiced over by someone called Doug. That would be me. In this series, we're looking at some of the most commonly used cliches and asking some smart people their opinions of them. These people are smart, so don't expect to hear much praise from them. We've already hunted down some of the most commonly used visual metaphors, put them in a sack loaded with bricks, and thrown them into the nearest canal. But we're not done yet. In this show, we're going to be talking about the target. 